Hey, Dave from Red Smoke Barbecue here, and on today's episode, we're really excited because we're gonna be unboxing the Pro Smoke 48 centimeter multifunctional charcoal drum smoker, which has been brought to you by Pro Smoke and lent to us by our good friends at Barbecues Galore. All right, as we said, we're gonna be reviewing the 48 centimeter drum smoker, but the first thing we need to do is crack it out of the box and take a look at the contents. All right, let's take a look at what we're dealing with. All right, first things first, instructions. Looks like this is a hanging rack for our hooks. Uh, a lid. Charcoal grill or cooking grills. So it's a charcoal bowl by this feel of it. Probably our water pan. This should be the base of our drum. Uh, probably our handles and bits and pieces. Can't get out. Uh, probably the middle section, I'm guessing, of the smoker. And the top ring to the smoker. All right, let's get that out of the way. All right, now we've got all the parts out, let's put it together. Okay, first step is the lid. So let's take a look at what we're gonna need to put this together. So we're gonna need a handle, check, We're gonna need the vent, check. And we're gonna need our handle risers, check. Okay, first step's really simple. We're just gonna put the handle onto the lid. So you just need these two screws. They're the two longest screws in the packet and these little risers, they're the black tubes with a little uh, scallop on top and of course our handle. And all we're gonna do is take those two screws, put a washer on, feed them through the bottom of the lid and we'll turn the lid over slide your riser, riser down and then screw your handle to the top of that all right now it's time to put our vent onto the lid there's two pieces you've got your top piece and your bottom piece so let's start with this bit first now you notice that you've got your your holes through there and you've got these two little prongs underneath and there's two little holes on the lid and there's they have to line up now there's a right way and a wrong way to do this the wrong way is if you put them on and you can't see through the lid. If that's the case, just turn it around so it goes the other way. And what you want is your prongs in the holes so you can see through it like that. That's gonna allow the airflow. All right, so then all you're gonna do is take your top piece, pop that on top. Now I recommend putting it so that the handle that's facing outwards, all right? Grab your bolt. Now there's only one that fits this particular one, so just make sure you're grabbing the right one once you've sorted through all your nuts and bolts. Turn it over. Pop the washer on. Pop your wing nut on. Don't over tighten it. Turn it back over. And there you go. That's your lid ready to go. Okay, so the next step is the middle section. And the middle section is the one, it's got a couple holes on the side and one big round hole here. That's for your uh, temperature gauge. The two side ones are for the handles. So let's start with the handles first. So we're gonna grab our handles and a screw. Pretty simple, pop that in. Washer on the back. So little wing nut on the back. All right, two screws each handle. Once you've done it finger tight, just grab your screwdriver, just give them a nip up. That's it, that's your handle on. I'm gonna repeat it on the other side. All right, so that's the handles onto the middle section. Now, the next step is for your grill uh, brackets. Now, there's two types of brackets you get in the packet. There's these long ones with sort of two hooks, and then there's the shorter one with one hook. For the middle section, you want the longer one with the two hooks. So what you're gonna do is pull those apart, 
and they're gonna go on to the side of the smoker that way up. So that's for grill plate number one, and obviously grill plate number two, and there's a little hole on the side. And then these little sections down the bottom are gonna hang lower than the drum because they're gonna connect to the uh, bottom rings. So don't worry about it if they hang. So for that, let's flip this upside down so that the hole for the temperature gauge is actually at the bottom. Now, that means with your brackets here, what you need to do is put them upside down too. So the hook needs to be facing down. Now, you'll notice on these brackets here that we've got a couple of slots and then a round hole. Now, when we put the two, uh, two of the brackets on, we're gonna use those two long slots to put our uh, bolt through there. Take one of the A screws, and there's eight of those. Pop that through the hole. I'm gonna add your washer and your wing nut and just tighten that up finger tight. Okay, and as we said for the third one, you're gonna take your temperature gauge. It's already got a large wing nut on it. Undo that. And that's gonna go through that hole just there. Okay, so we're gonna slide the gauge through the, from the front. Crack it on. Do our wing nut back up. All right, so that's our top section done. So we've put our grill brackets on, we've added our handles, and we've put our temperature gauge on. Now it's time to move on to step three, which is working on the middle section. Now to do that, what you need to do is turn this section we've just worked on upside down, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the uh, bottom brackets, which is gonna tie the two pieces of the drum together. And what's gonna happen is they're gonna sort of sit like that, and then we're gonna bolt our uh, next ring on. So let's go ahead and get that done. I'll show you what you need to do. So remembering that we're working upside down, so we're gonna grab this section, which is the middle section of the drum, lower it down so you see the holes line up. We'll take our bracket, it's gonna slide into its other partner. Same thing, A bolts through the side, washer, wing nut, and just go ahead around and do all those. All right, so we're almost there. We're getting close to being ready to fire this thing up, but uh, we've just finished steps one, two, and three. So we've obviously put our lid together, we've got our handles on, we've got our brackets, and once we've done those brackets, we're connecting our drum together. So that's the top section and the middle section done. Step four is what we're up to, and that's putting the feet onto the bottom of the charcoal pan. So it's pretty straightforward. Let's whip this out of the way. All right, so this is the base of our charcoal pan, and there's these three little legs here. What you need to do, first of all, is you need to remove that screw and that washer that's in there finger tight. It looks like that currently. You need to undo it so it's like that. All right, pretty straightforward, three of these. Take your leg, pop it up on the side, put your screw through, and just screw that on. All right, there's your three legs on and done. Couldn't be simpler. And that's pretty much the final step in the construction phase. Now all we gotta do is assemble the entire smoker together before we can fire it up. All right, that's the construction part taken care of. So I've moved outside here. I'm gonna show you how to put it together, where all the racks go, and then I'm gonna show you how to season it so you make sure this smoker lasts you a long time. All right, with the hard work done, now it's the easy bit. So start with your base and sit your charcoal bowl in the bottom and add your barrel on top of that. Just sit straight on top. And then on the inside, we're gonna start with our water bowl and that goes on the bottom hooks. And then just add both of your grilling grates to the next two rows of hooks. And of course, pop on the lid. Okay, now with the smoker assembled, it's time to season it. So grab a can of olive oil spray. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna spray the entire inside of the drum smoker. So hit all the brackets, the charcoal bowl, be pretty liberal with it. Don't forget to spray the underside of the water pan. That's what's gonna be facing that direct heat. And then once you've done that, put your grills in and give them, again, a really thorough coat of oil. And make sure that you don't forget to do the underside of your lid before you pop it back on. All right, to finish off the seating process, we need to fire up some charcoal. So today we're gonna to be using the Pro Smoke Premium Lump Charcoal. That's their new 18 kilo bag. 
and you can see here the size of the charcoal pieces inside just fantastic i'll put a link in the description below to where you can find this lump charcoal as well as a link to the drum smoker in case you're watching this video and you're in the market for one both of these are available here in australia at barbecues galore All right, so the charcoal's lit. Now what I've also done is I've sprayed down the uh, hanging rack, which is what is also included with the drum smoker, as well as the hook. So they're seasoned, ready to go for when I want to use them next time. Now what I've done is added just a little bit of water to the water pan, because I want this to get particularly hot. We're doing a seasoning, um, so we're gonna get those temperatures up. So let's transfer this charcoal into the bottom, and then we'll uh, adjust the temperature. All right, there you go. So that's the Pro Smoke Drum Smoker, built, seasoned, and ready for cooking. Now, I've been walking past here all afternoon, keeping an eye on the temperature, and it's consistently sat at 250. It's just started to cool down now, which means we're probably getting a little bit low on charcoal. Uh, but I've had the vent open the whole time, so that's really the only way you can control the heat. I've had it open, had that little bit of water in there, uh, and that amount of charcoal seems to be the perfect combination. That's a really good sign. It means hassle-free cooking in the future. Now, speaking of cooking, what should we cook on the drum smoker first? Should we do a short cook? Maybe some chicken thighs or chicken nibbles, or do we just jump in and do a longer cook? Maybe some beef shorties or even a brisket. Love to know what you think. Throw it in the comments below, and whatever uh, we come up with there is what will determine what the next video is going to be. Now, big shout out to Barbecues Galore who lent us the Pro Smoke Drum Smoker. Really appreciate it. Allows us to make content like this. We really look forward to putting it through its paces with some cook cooks and giving it an honest review. If you haven't already, jump across and check out the rest of the content on our channel. We've got source videos, uh, recipes, and other gear reviews. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like our channel, we'd really appreciate you subscribing. It's free to do, it means the world to us. Until the next video, we'll catch you then.